the second word of Christ. I tell you the truth. Today you will be with me in paradise. Let us begin by taking a moment to center ourselves. Let's start by closing our eyes and taking a deep breath. Let us remember that we're in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Merciful Savior, you heard the repentant plea of the criminal on your right hand and promised him paradise for his faith. As we are struggling in the midst of our wrongdoings, let us also hear the same word from your lips. May your undying mercy inspire us to be merciful now and always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The second word of Christ is, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. Malia, what does this mean? I think that this last word of Christ reveals two important things for us. Um, the first being that one of the criminals who was crucified alongside Jesus is able to notice, find, and also embrace God even through his own suffering and his pain. And he even humbles himself by asking Jesus not to forget him. And the second thing being that we see how Jesus offers his compassionate heart regardless of if the person has committed a major crime or not. And Jesus responds in a loving way as he welcomes the criminal into paradise with him. How do you specifically relate to the second word? I think about how the criminal saw God and how Jesus offered his compassionate heart. I think about an image of technology and more specifically Zoom and group text, um, especially in this past year with the pandemic and quarantine and everything. Because personally, I have found it really important to make time to communicate with my friends and family that I haven't seen recently in a while. And one of my aunts is being super safe with everything COVID related. So we haven't been able to see her family, including two of my younger cousins for the past year in person. And for me, the most compassionate thing I could do is to stay connected to both my aunt and my cousins through technology so that I could let them know, just like Jesus did with the criminal, that I see them and I won't forget them. So I really feel God's presence in each of the stories and the videos and the pictures that we send in our big family group chat or also in the family Zooms that we have to celebrate birthdays and anniversaries and holidays and all the other events. Um, and the love and the joy that we're able to share while being only confined to connecting over Zoom and text really helps me to recognize the way that God is present through each of my family members. And it reminds me that We'll, we will always be there to support each other. So how do you think that we as an SI community can live out Jesus' second word? I think that we as members of the SI community can continue to use our resources. So all the technology we have, meaning Zoom, text, social media, um, to extend our love to all people, especially to our friends and family who may be struggling amongst the hardships of the pandemic. And even though we're constantly on our devices for school and work and everything, Technology right now is the best way that we can connect with our loved ones safely and be compassionate towards those we care about. So we can ask ourselves, how can we be compassionate in the same way Christ was compassionate to the criminal? And how can we offer both our love and support to those who need it most right now? Let us pray. Loving God, we come to you with humility and grace. Teach us to comfort those around us and offer compassion just as Jesus did. Help us to continue to extend our gift of generosity and love to everyone around us, whether they are close to us or far, so that we all may be still able to find God in times of suffering. May the passion of the Lord Jesus Christ bring us the joys of paradise. Amen. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.